This is Fort Pulaski. And uh, this was built to defend Savannah, Georgia. During the Civil War, it started out belonging to the Confederacy as a Confederate fort. What happened was, a little bit before the war started, uh, Georgia State Militia came down and they took the fort from the army. Um, there was only, the army only had two people in the fort and the state militia came in, took it. So by the time the Civil War rolled around, it belonged to the Confederacy. And it was believed to be a pretty solid fort, like nothing could penetrate it. Um, so after about a 30 hour battle with the Union that were stationed over, or they, they set up over on um, Tabby Island, the South surrendered. Uh, the projectiles started coming through the walls. They started coming dangerously cl close to the magazine where they had all the gunpowder stored. And the commander decided that if they keep going and if something hits the gunpowder, the whole fort's gonna go up and he's gonna lose all his men. So they surrendered. Well, as far as this place being haunted, it does have some ghost stories that go along with it. One was that during the end of the war, they used it as a prison. And in one of the magazines where they used to keep the gunpowder, they kept Confederate officers. There was over 500 of them, and they were treated very poorly, very poor living conditions. They were given them moldy bread and, you know, uh, just stuff to eat that was gonna really not good at all. And 13 of them died. After that, they moved the remaining up to Fort Delaware. So when they were filming The Glory down here, uh, I believe they were filming it in Savannah, some of the actors were over here during one of their breaks. They came over to check out the fort and they reported seeing a lieutenant, a Confederate lieutenant, and he came up to them and started yelling at them about not saluting. And you know, they pretty much figured he was joking. It was just, you know, someone messing with them. So they, you know, turned around and the guy was gone. So he's believed to be one of the ghosts that haunts this location uh, of one of the officers that died when they were imprisoned here. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna take a tour, we're gonna learn more of the background, more of the history. Um, and hopefully at some point we can come back and do a full on investigation. That would be awesome because uh, this is a very historic fort. Um, a lot of Civil War stories about it and can't wait to check it out. So we'll keep you posted and let you know how the tour goes. Here on the archway of the casemate, you can see some writing from some of the Union soldiers. This one says, Union now and forever. And there's some more graffiti. It appears to say home in the middle. And that's what leads them to believe that these may have been barracks at one time for the privates. And that was after the Union took the fort. And this here, this is how they used to get the cannons up to the upper level. They'd hook a rope handle around it, around here, and put the buffer down in there, hook it around there, and then they'd hook this to the rope handle, stick some handles in here, and they'd turn this thing, and it would crank it and would take it up to the upper level. Pretty cool stuff. This over here, this is an example of the cannon that they had, you know. Uh, 
this is the, the defense for any ships coming in from the ocean. We've got the ocean out there. Um, Tabby Island, and that's where the Union actually attacked from. So, got a couple cannons in place around here. And this is an example of some of the living quarters for the military. Got an old wood burning stove in there. All right, this is where they stored all the gunpowder. This was the magazine. And uh, back in 1862, when shells breached the opposite wall, they came and they struck this wall that this powder's stored in, and the fort surrendered because they were afraid that if they hit this powder, the whole fort would go up and everyone in it would be dead. But this is the powder magazine. So we're heading upstairs to the top of the fort. part of the fort where in 1895 a fire destroyed the wood floor that was beneath it. And we're hearing something in there. I think it's that bird. You can see how wooden floors should be laid out over this with the space, keep the moisture out, and also for the to help the cannon smoke to clear. So they left it hollow underneath. Okay, so earlier we mentioned how this was a prison for Confederate officers towards the end of the war, 1864 to 1865. So this is the Southwest Magazine, and this is where they held the prisoners during that time. Let's take a look inside. See, as you can see, there's bars on the door. And from what we read, 13 of those prisoners died before the rest were transported up to Fort Delaware. So this is said to be haunted by the spirits of those Confederate soldiers. And it was down here, in fact, that the Confederate lieutenant approached one of the guys when they were filming the movie Glory. And the story goes that one of the actors came over here during a break to tour the fort, and he was approached by a Confederate officer well, a guy dressed as a Confederate started yelling at him to salute. And then the guy just disappeared. So he's, he's said to, to be a prisoner that was held right here. Very poor conditions. And this is Colonel Olmstead's quarters from April 11th, 1862. another door here on the side of the hill. We're going to go check it out. See what it is. Oh, wow. This is pretty cool.
here on the outside of the fort, you can see some of the extensive damage that it took during that battle. who died while imprisoned here, they're buried in this graveyard. And they put up this monument to them. And we have some headstones behind us. About it is that it was Robert E. Lee's first duty station and he helped to build the fort as we see it today. <laughs> 